in the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Shalom. 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 Today I want to just uh, share with you um, some uh, just some few um, dreams and uh, vision that I have concerning um, the end times. You know. So I'm going to read this uh i hope that i can make it big let me see if i can increase mm -mm. no 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 okay so i want to just read uh i had uh three different dreams about end times or even more than that but the most the ones that i really remember that i just want to share with you that was in uh, 2016 and 2015 i went to i'm just going to read what i wrote i wrote this to one of my sister in the lord so she was telling me to make a video about it so i just wanted to make a video about that so i said i went to finland as a missionary because i was a missionary in finland for three years and during my time there, during 2015, 2018, I got three different dreams and visions about the rapture. One was Jesus Christ sitting on the globe, on the sky, and his garment, his white garment was covered with blood. And at the corner of the globe, it was written, the end, the end. So I was with an angel and I asked him, if he saw that too and he said to me yes i can see that then i turned my back and i started to walk away saying in my heart oh my god it is the end and i have not even i have i have to go and fix myself i have to be righteous so jesus was sitting now on that globe and was speaking to me and said can't you see can't you see my garment so I did, I did it all for you, Jesus said. I did it all for you. I paid the price for you. What you need is my blood and my righteousness only. This was the first vision I had. So I'm going to show you how I asked my daughter to draw this for me so that I can be able to show many other people about it. So it was just something like that. You know it was like a globe and jesus was sitting there he has a white garment but on that garment it was all covered with blood and i asked my daughter in 2016 to draw this for me when i had this vision the vision is still vivid in my mind it was just like a daylight i was so scared and on the corner of that globe it was written so big the end the end so that is one of my vision was showing me god was telling me it is the end time people have to be ready and then the next dream the next vision that i had let me continue to read and also in the and this was a vision this was a vision another was a dream and in this dream i was showing my daughter the bible matthew 24 which states that if you are not careful in the last days even the very elect will be deceived because the bible says that in uh, matthew 24 that i was showing my daughter i remember this uh, uh, this dream i came to pick my daughter from the church they were having a youth group so as i came out i mean i was standing outside she came out with one of the pastors and then on my i was showing her my bible 
and uh, was telling her that uh, th I was showing her that uh, chapter 24 of Matthew that if you are not careful in the end times even the very elect will be deceived and that is what is happening now in the whole world you can see so many falling away so many people are deceived with false religion you see there's so many of uh, um, the Bible calls it in the book of 2 Corinthians 4 that the God of this world has blinded the eyes of so many that they should not believe. They should not believe the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. So that is what is happening. You see all the fake religion in the world, the false prophets, all the culture, all traditions, everything is the devil that is behind it. All the cream, right, uh, cream white religion all over the world. It is the devil that is behind it. So he's trying to fool the people from the truth, not to get the truth, to know the truth, so that they can be saved because Jesus has already paid the price. So that was what I was showing her, that scripture in the book of Matthew 24. Go and read that book of Matthew 24. It's amazing. It's talking about the end times. So I was showing them. There were two of them. So when I was showing them, I say at the end, uh, if you don't care for the very elect will be uh, deceived. And then the other pastor who was together with my daughter. She was saying um, that we are not the elect. You know, so my daughter was arguing her, arguing him and saying, no, we are the elect. We are the elect. The born again Christians are the elect. And the elect, the very elect, that means the born again Christians, they will be deceived in the end times. So that is why you need to really read your scripture to know the truth. So the third dream that I had was I was in somewhere in Mongolia. I find myself that was in 2000. And let me see. It was uh, 2014 I had this dream before I went for my mission trip. So I will read it before I will show you how this looked like. I asked my daughter to draw it too. My daughter is very good in, uh, in art, you know, so she can draw very well. So in this dream, it was as if I have a battle. It was a spiritual battle. Then I discovered I find myself in Mongolai. So an angel came to rescue me there from that place in Mongolai. And when he rescued me, he took me to a locomotive train, which was about seven cabin. And we enter into that, uh, we enter into the last cabin. So I told the angel that I am tired. I want to go home. And then he said unto me, just be patient. Can't you see that we are in the end of this train? So he asked me that question. So I look out, I look out of the train and I said unto him, this small train with seven cabin, where are all the Christians that are in the, in the world that I see in the God TV and all the other channels in the world? And then he said unto me that there are not many true Christians as you think. Only these seven cabin. And just hold on because Jesus is coming soon. That's what he told me. So I believe this, this I believe this is the, the time is very close, saints of God. We have to be ready that we don't miss the flight or to miss that train. That train to enter that train because that is how the train looked like. I will show you how I asked my daughter to draw it. The train looks like this. This is how the locomotive, it was just with seven cabin. It was a locomotive train that is removing smoke. And in that train, in that train, I was really at the end here. You can see me and the, 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 the engine. We were really at this end of the last cabin here. So, but when I put my head out of the window, I discovered that only six cabin was in front. One, two, three, four, five, six. It was just six cabin. In, the, in that locomotive train and then we enter into that last one so the angel was telling me that don't you see that we are in the end the last or the last in the train to enter the train the end so i have a feeling that this is the end the, the last generation because the bible was talking about that uh, in the book of Acts. so that is the end times the book of Acts was talking about the end times that um that Jesus Christ came in the end times and that, that the disciples were talking about that their time, that 2,000 years ago was the end time. So what about now? It's already over. They say it's already over 2,000 years, you know. 
So I have I have a very strong belief that Jesus Christ is soon coming. You see all the commotion in the world, as the Bible says that there will be war, there will be rumors of war, there will be commotion. That is just the beginning. You see, there will be earthquakes. There will be so many uh, unrest all over. The Bible speak that in the book uh, is uh, talk about that in the book of uh, Matthew twenty four. So if you read Matthew twenty four, you will see all these things. So uh, these are my three different dreams and vision that I saw, I've, I've had a dream about concerning the end times that Jesus Christ is soon coming. There was another dream that I had again a few years ago, I think two years ago. I was talking to some to few boys like that. I was walking on one street like that, so I saw them. So I met them and I started to preach the gospel to them. So I was telling them that I'm a missionary and I want to tell them the gospel about Jesus Christ, that Jesus has paid the price for them and uh, it is a free gift. They should not gamble with their life. So, and I was telling them, as I was talking to them, they were just mocking. They were mocking. They were just making fun of me. So I told them to read the book of Peter. I said, if people read the book of Peter, you will see. And the Bible said that very soon, all these things that you people see and you are mocking, it will all be born with fire. So I will all be born with fire. Then immediately when I said that, they just turn. One of the boys, they just turned and said, who told you that Jesus is coming? Who told you? I said, I know because God told me that. God told me already that in different dreams and visions that Jesus is soon coming back. So then from there, one of them, they believe. So he was asking me, okay, can you pray with me? Can you tell me how I can receive Jesus Christ? And I told him, I explained to him the gospel. I said, Jesus Christ became sin for us who knew no sin, so that we should become now the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. And if he only believes in his heart and confess with his mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and his Savior, that he will be saved and let him go and be baptized and start to read the scripture and start to wait for Jesus and start to do a missionary work also or try to start to spread the gospel. So that is what I explained to him. So this is the end times guys. So I wanted just to share with you these end time dreams that I have concerning the Lord, um, the Lord Jesus Christ and this train, which is the end time train, which is, um, <laughs> I can say, um, uh, the train we are now in the end times we are in the last and the end of end times you can say the end and the end of the day so you can say that so i just pray that if you have not given your life to jesus you can repent today and ask the lord jesus to be your lord and savior because the price has been paid already the work has been finished on calvary cross so it's just for you to accept the gospel and say lord forgive me for my sin and wash me with your blood make me a new creation use my life for your glory in the name of jesus if you pray that and uh, yes you will be born again but you need to go and be baptized find somebody who can baptize you if you don't even have a river or water near your place use even a top a house top and be baptized in the water it is a symbol of death and resurrection in union with the lord jesus christ so you have to die to your old self your old man your old life and then you have a new life resurrection life you become a new creation so then you have a new life now in Jesus Christ. So because that your old life is a sinful life, that life has to die. So then you have to get a new life from the Lord Jesus. That is a symbol of baptism. So you are going to die. That is why you see when people go to the water to baptize. I don't mean the Catholic baptism where people baptize with just sprinkling of water on their head. That is not the real baptism. Baptism is dying to your whole life. You have to, you, if you read the book of Romans 6, it's talking about that. You have to die in, inside, you know, you, you bury it inside the water. Your whole life is buried. And then you are resurrected again up to a new brand new life if anyone being christ is a new creation all things have passed away and everything has become new i hope this in encouraged you today so i just wanted to share with you about this uh, end time dreams and uh, vision so one was this locomotive one was uh, the one that i saw this vision with uh, jesus christ sitting on the on the Jesus Christ sitting on this um, globe and he was in, and in the corner of it, he was reading the end and the end. And he was talking to me 
and I was just I just turned my back on him and I say I'm going to fix myself I have to go and be right I have to go do something you know and then he was talking to me and said don't you see don't you see my garment I've done everything for you you know you have to just believe now the blood of Jesus Christ the sacrifice you believe that Jesus make you righteous Jesus is your righteousness God made Christ to be seen he was not a sinner but he became sin for us and then he made you you didn't you did not make yourself he made you to become the righteousness of god in christ jesus that was when i loved that scripture in the book of uh, second corinthians 5 21 so now we become the righteousness of god in christ jesus so christ is our righteousness amen our wisdom our sanctification and our redemption so christ did the job for us on calvary cross so it's now for us to just believe so that is the end times dream i hope this encourage you in the name of the lord jesus christ and if your brother your, your family has not received christ you have to tell them the gospel and start to tell them to be ready because it's the end times you know so you don't miss the flight you don't miss the train amen you see i enter into the last train with the angel that was the last train praise god so the uh, god was the angel was telling me don't you see you are in the last train and then uh, you are in the end of the train so and this if jesus said this is the end this is the end so it is the end times we have to be prepared and ready so that when the rapture will take place we are in that flight we don't want to miss the flight amen in the name of jesus if you are new here thank you for all my new subscribers god bless every one of you i cover every one of you with the blood of jesus i pray for you and labor for you in prayer every single day in jesus name that you should be steadfast in the faith stand strong in faith in christ jesus amen to the end to the jesus christ rapture the church amen in the name of the lord jesus christ jesus is our uh, bridegroom we are his bride and the head and the body are one amen we are the church the body the ecclesias we are the church of christ the bride of christ amen glory be to god so i cover every one of you with the blood of the lord jesus christ put the whole armor of god fight the good fight of faith and take hold of internal life in jesus name if you are new here you subscribe down below thank you for doing that because subscribing helps amen in the name of the lord jesus i put a thumbs up share the video if you like no problem and god bless you and shalom thank you i will see you in the next audio or in the next video in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you. God bless you.